Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, we are want to recreate this uh, detachable uh, sleeve. So this is the up of the sleeves and this is the flowing part of the sleeves. And I want to recreate it using a uh, new fabric. So the first thing I'm, I did now was just to cut a rectangle because I'm cutting for both sleeves at the same time, right? This one is for two sleeves. Now, what I want to cut now is this upper part, the part that is going to hold from the bicep to the wrist right so from bicep to wrist this is the upper part from here to here i'm cutting that first so i just cut out this triangle right here and then i'm going to measure the amount of bicep the circumference of the bicep divided into two i'm going to measure that there and the circumference of the elbow because no i said wrist before but this elbow the circumference of the elbow divided into two okay and that this fabric stretches a little so it's supposed to stretch a little across you know the grain so when you are cutting your fabric make sure especially if it's a two-way stretch make sure that the stretchy part is the one that is going around or across the arm okay and the non-stretchy part is going to just be the horizontal part because it doesn't stretch at all all right so what i'm going to do now is to put my my elbow measurements i mean the elbow measurement is 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5 inches and then i'm going to add um let me fold this well again then i'm going to add seam allowance to it so elbow measurement is five i'll add uh 0.75 seam allowance to it so i'm just going to do five divided five plus 0 0.75 and i have that here now for the bicep measurements the bicep measurement is 11.5 the bicep measurement is 11.5 i'm going to divide that into two and i will have what 11.5 divided by 2 is going to be 5.75 and i'm going to add allowance to that and then i'll have i added about it should be the same 0 0.75 inches allowance and then i'm going to just join this with a slanted line like it's not much and i'm just going to cut my excess on this side so like i said it's for two sleeves so let me just separate them okay and as for the length of this upper part um the entire length that i have here is 11.5 inches the original length of the upper part of the sleeve from here to here is nine inch and then nine inches and i added extra inches up here because i'm going to fold this into two like so so the ex excess the extra is to fold is 0 0.5 and another 0 0.5 so that's why i added about 1.5 inches extra to the original length of the length of your of the measurement that you're using okay so here we are if you are following me so far please make sure that you click the like button on this video if you have been enjoying it thus far and uh subscribe don't watch and run away please subscribe now after selling my markets let's move to the next stage so the next thing that i'm going to do is to create the flare part so we just finished creating from here to here and now we want to create this flare part and as you can see this flare part is eye low it's an eye low circle uh circle sleeve part so we're going to create a circle and then create it as an eye low okay so if you've seen my how to create a circle skirt you can relate to this if you have not seen it here i am selling my market again go and watch it give it a thumbs up subscribe after watching that video too like you can double subscribe it is it, it's all good it's allowed on the yearly channel you can subscribe once and come back and subscribe again i know it won't be counted twice but just in case you forgot to subscribe the first time subscribe again okay so i'm folding my fabric into two like this and then i'm going to fold it into two again like this so i'm folding it into four like so and then i'm going to fold it into two do you get that i folded my fabric into four right and then i'm going to fold it again into two this is because i'm cutting two sleeves at the same time if I was cutting just one sleeve, I'll just fold it into two and fold it once. But I'm, I folded it into four and then I folded it now. So now I'm going to be cutting two sleeves. So I have eight pieces, like one, two, three, four, and another one, two, three, four under here. So I have eight pieces in total. Now, what is the length of the flare that we want? Now, this is the long part, right? It depends on how long you want it to be. You remember that your the slim part stops here so you want the flare part to get to your wrist and if you want to be overly dramatic you can get to your you know to here your finger or you know whatever so for this particular sleeve the length is going to be let's say 18 inches right and then it is eye low the length of the front is going to be um 
the length of the front is going to be the entire length of the rest of the sleeve all right so let me reiterate that i feel like i i sort of like put one thing before the other thing okay so <laughs> the length of the short part should be from your elbow to your wrist that should be the length of the short part then the length of the long part is going to be maybe eight inches longer than that because you know you want it to flow like it's you want the, the short one to stop here but you want the bottom one to flow to the bottom so the length of the short part like i said will be from your elbow to your wrist so i'm going to use eight inches as the length for the short part and then i'm going to use let's say 16 inches as the length for the long part so that's eight inches for the front 16 inches for the back so in total it's going to be 24 inches right so that is what i am going to cut now i'm going to cut 16 inches plus 8 inches which is 24 and divide that into two that's 12. let me say it again whatever the length of your short one is you add it to the length of your long one and then divide that into two and that will be the radius that you use for as your circle so i'm going to also add a seam allowance of one inch or let me add a seam allowance of one and a half inches because i'm going to join it at the top and i'm going to taper it at the bottom so if i add all of that i'm going to have like 13 and a half inches and that is what i'm going to draw round about it okay so let's say it's 13 and a half or i can make it longer let's do let me just make it long long because i have lots of fabric and i like the dramatic effect so let's make it 15. so i'm going to just measure 15 round about it if there's any mathematics mathem mathematical gymnastics <laughs> that i have performed here today please let me know so that i can explain in more details in the comment section if you like if something is, is not clear or you want me to go over it again Then after marking it, I'm then going to cut it. Remember, I'm cutting eight pieces together right now. Eight. And the radius that I used is 15 inches. I'm using a radius of 15 inches. You can just stick to my plan. Like you can, you can just do exactly the same thing I, 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 do, I did. Your sleeve is still going to be dramatic. You don't even really have to change anything for this flare part. You can only just change this part because your bicep might be different and your elbow might be different but for the flare part you can just retain this you just, you just replicate exactly what i did you will still have your whole dramatic thing so now after using a radius of 15 by 15 now what i'm going to do now i'm going to open my circle like this and turn it into a semicircle, and then i'm going to shift two at a time remember i'm working with two sleeves at the time right now so if you're working with one sleeve you just have to shift only one at a time so two at a time i'm just going to move it up like this right and then i measure the length between this between this curve here and this curve here once it's up to eight then i should be fine remember it is eight inches that is the difference between the top and the bottom so this is eight then let me add one inch for similar ones. so this is nine inches in total so this is nine inches in total right here can you see the difference now i folded it back and you can see that this is the first one this is going to be the higher one and this is going to be the lower one higher one lower one now the next thing is for us to cut the hole this hole that the sleeve is going to be attached to like this upper sleeve is going to be attached to this hole so now we have to cut it now a way that you can do that is to also fold this into four like this and place it here and then just cut your hole or another method that I really prefer is to just divide this circumference, whatever the circumference is here, divide it by 6.28. So right here, I have about 6. Point, no, this is not the circumference. I have this circumference, this 5.5 multiplied by 2 is 11. If I divide 11 by 6.28, I should have about 1.5, about 1.5. So I'm just going to use a circumference of 1.5 here. You see the way I'm doing 1.5 here. And another 1.5 in the middle and then i'm going to join it all like this so like i said just do it exactly the way i do it did it use the same 15 inches and you are not supposed to go wrong because 15 inches is more than enough to account for this cut that we're going to make right here so i'm going to just take it right above my line giving a little bit of seam allowance here so now i have this look at the opening right here so this is what i have now if i have this opening and then i sew my sleeve 
and the opening is too is smaller than my sleeve i can easily just cut it just a little bit more at the top for it to fit perfectly but if it is too big then i'll then that, that will, like there's almost nothing i can do except pleat it or, or do something dramatic like that so that is why i added i left this little bit of space at the top so that it will not be too big for my sleeve and if it is too small i can always just increase it a little bit to meet this my blue line right here i hope you can understand what i'm saying i hope you understand what i'm saying so now i like i said i have two sleeves so you see that they look so pretty right they look so pretty okay so now we have our eye lows look at it eye low right right here looking very nice so the next step which is easy to follow is to i can sew this together and tuck this in at the top i'll just tuck this in at the top and sew the sides together so i'm gonna do that and show you so i have finished putting the i've finished aiming the top of the sleeve and i sew the side of the sleeve so now i'm ready to fix this into the flare part so i'm going to put try to put this inside this and you can see that the circle looks like it might be smaller like when i compare both of them it looks like it might be smaller than the main circle which is okay because that was why i put in the allowance i can just cut out my circle to make it wider with the original measurements that i took the original markings that i made i'll just cut it you know along that lines and make it wider for the upper part of the sleeve so let's do that and see the way i'm cutting it i'm just making i just cut it a little bit like 0 0.25 the 0 0.25 seam allowance is what i cut and now you can see the circle is wider and i can fix it directly to my sleeve yeah so now what i'm going to do is to set my sleeves correctly to make sure that the seams are facing the correct side so i have my eye low like this right and then i take my sleeve and put it like this okay so the sides match with the side of this seam and the other side matches with the side of the seam then you can get your pins and pin it round about the circle so i'm going to open this like this and then pin this round about it okay so i thinned it round about and i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew it now if you have a serger you can use a serger to stretch this part and if you don't have a serger and you're using a regular sewing machine you can just change your switch to a zigzag stitch and then sew this with a zigzag so that it can retain its stretch because if you use a straight stitch the stretch of the fabric will not be retained so take this to a sewing machine use a zigzag stitch and if you have a serger just serge it and our sleeve will be almost done and after doing that i'll just this bottom i'll just fold it once and also zigzag stitch round about it set your zigzag zigzag switch oh, <laughs> set your zigzag stitch to a length of uh three inches and a width of five inches length of three width of five when you do that you're going to be able to get a nice zigzag stitch to aim the bottom of your uh, of your uh, flare and if you don't want to do that you can always use a bias tape so you can get a white bias tape and then aim it with a white bias tape another way is um what other way i think those are the two main ways that you can use because if you try to aim it twice you might have issues going around about it that's why i prefer to only turn it in once when i'm trying to like m the bottom there are all that more complicated ways but the easiest way is to either m it just one time zigzag stitch it or you um use your bias tape uh this is an example of a zigzag stitch i did for a circle skirt this is it it does not look bad at all look at the right side and look at the wrong side it look, doesn't look bad so you can just use a zigzag stitch and your project will still look neat so let me do all of the things that i said i was going to do now and come back and show you what it looks like okay so after completing the sleeves I, after taping everywhere that needs to be taped and attaching the flare to it this is what i have 
and now to add a little bit of juice to it i got this um nice jewelry here so i got this jewelry on etsy if you like you know the ukop you can ask me in the comment section because it stretches and that's why i'm using it because like it has that stretch and the stretch will work for the band very well because it will make it firm around it and also beautified at the same time so what i would do is to stretch it and sew it with needle and thread so i'm just gonna grab needle and thread and stretch my uh bling and then sew at the same time and i'm going to do that round about my uh bicep of the, the bicep of the sleeve after doing that this is what i have it is pretty so you see what i'm saying i stretched and sewed so when i when it stretches on the bicep like this this is what it's going to look like and it's going to be firm around the bicep so here you have it and this is a very beautiful detachable sleeve that you can use to use up your outfits make it look pretty you know take it to the next level you know yada 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 <laughs> thank you so very much for watching if this video has been helpful don't forget to like it don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe till next time bye